plastic has its place, but not in your marketing copy. This is copy that speaks. Why force yourself to outshout the competition just to get your brand noticed? You don't have to anymore. Welcome to Copy That Speaks. Good evening and welcome to yet another version. This is episode five of Copy That Speaks. A little bit of a technical difficulty there in the very beginning. But thank you so very much for joining us. I want to get right away to Mr. Lee Rowley. Lee, what, it, <laughs> what is going on over there? You know, I've just... Oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how many people I have seen over the last week that are doing these end of the year, you know, start your business off on the right foot, get, a, you get out ahead of the competition, grab these copy templates while you can, and I just want to <laughs> vomit. And this is what reminds me of, so I thought I'd bring in something plastic of my own to go with everybody's plastic sales copy. That's right. But you have a caller. I do. <laughs> so let's skip this and let's just get right to the call. So that's what's important. <laughs> All right. What are you talking about, Pat? All right. Let me just pick this up. Yeah. We can come right to there. <laughs> Good evening, caller. Who do we have? This is Mike Roslock. How are you? I'm doing great, Mike. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Lee, hey. Mike hey. is on the phone. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Not too bad. How's it going with you? Hey, fantastic as always, my friend. <laughs> Excellent. So, Mike, you know a little bit about how this works, in case you don't. What we do is we set it up so that you and Lee can have a chance to banter a little bit, talk a little bit. Let's get Mike's picture up here. Mm -hmm. And and then what I'm hoping is that through the couple of minutes of having a chance to talk and everything else, that you guys can go, ooh, this would be really cool if I could brainstorm some of this, brainstorm some of that. And and then what comes out of it is a really cool tagline or a really cool train of thought that you could use in moving forward, if that's cool with you. Absolutely. All right. So, Lee, let's okay. talk. I don't know if you can see it, Mike, but Lee's oh, got his plastic that's, inflatable that's doll. <laughs> Lee, what is going through your mind tonight, brother? I, I get, well, as I was saying, I'm just I'm so tired of all these templates and all the plastic copy and everybody trying to look like the gurus that I just decided to go, you know, something plastic here would okay. be fitting too. So this, this is plastic patty. Very and nice. She's one of our new mascots here at Copy That Speaks. <laughs> all right. What do you think? I think do it's we fantastic. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, but I got to Well, I can tell you if I can mention quickly, everyone here uh, in the studio is absolutely fired up. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. Wait a minute. Okay. Everyone in the studio, you know, all the studio hands are coming by going, wait a minute. Oh, my. Who did Lee bring? Oh. Well, who's wow. he hanging out with? Wow. We have over there hobo. on the couch. Yeah. I didn't know we had a hobo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. What's the, okay. First time you've watched the show? Well, <laughs> I didn't know we had a hobo. Well, well, we'll have to just set these two up because I need my seat back anyway. So go make my Okay, sandwich. cool. There you go. There Careful. Go. This is important time for us to talk that no uh, inflatable dolls or plastic uh, child's toys were injured in the filming of this show. All right, Mike, sorry. Right. I had to get that in. <laughs> All right, Lee, take yeah. it away. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, so Mike, when we talked uh, on the phone earlier, um, we thought maybe a good place uh, to start would be just you telling us uh, about your business and uh, you know what we can work on for you. Uh, you know, I know we're going to be work reworking your your headline, but tell us a little about who you serve and, and what's going through their minds. Well, you know, the funny thing is, Lee, is that it is one of those weird things in the world where if you have not looked for a job in the last two years, you are going to be totally shocked about the process that you've got to go through 
And what I'm trying to do is try to educate as many people as possible and to make it as easy as possible so people can find a job quickly and a job that they want. Okay. What most people don't understand today, just really quickly, is that there's something called an ATS system, the applicant tracking system. And that applicant tracking system basically judges the resume before anybody sees it. And 98% of the time, it kicks it into the trash. And you never know about it. Wow. So that's wow. where I'm trying to really help people understand a lot more about it. Okay. Would you say that most people that, uh, that would need your service don't really know what an ATS is or, or doesn't don't know that it exists? I would guarantee they don't know it exists. Okay. Um, you know, applicant tracking systems, applicant tracking processes are one of those things that, you know, when you sign into a company to put your resume into, you might go to something like Workaday, you might go to something from IBM or Oracle, and you're actually just, you think you're just putting in your information so they can track you as a, as a candidate. But the really interesting part is what they're doing right there is when you upload your resume and you go against the job description, if you don't have 80 to 90% similarity between the job description and the resume that you're submitting for that job description, you're going to be thrown in the trash. Okay. And, that's, and, and, you're, and you're never going to know about it. And most people don't have any clue that this is going on behind their backs. They think that when they send in the resume, it's going to go to some human. They're going to read that and go, oh, God, i got to have Lee. He is mm. awesome. He, right. has, he has rubber friends. <laughs> and I need to make sure that they're part of my team. That doesn't happen. It never gets that far. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank God someone's doing it right. Right. <laughs> Not like we're here at this show. <laughs> <laughs> so so then wasted time would be a huge problem for the people that you serve then because they probably oh. don't even know that, that uh, all the time that they're spending is – it's just getting their resume chucked out by a computer that doesn't care whether they uh, get a job or not. Exactly. Okay. And, and, and that's the thing. What one of the really one of the really uh, interesting things about our universe is that we've learned that every action has an opposite and equal reaction, right? So the thing is, is that everything we learned in college about writing resumes and how they're sure. set up and everything doesn't matter to the ATS system. The ATS system is looking for specific things, words, phrases. But as soon as you get past the ATS system, you get back to a human, and all of those biases that that human has, they don't like the font you use, they don't like the white space, sure. all that stuff comes back into play again. So, you know, one thing is one thing that's cool about the ATS is that you don't really have to worry too much about formatting. The bad part is, is that once you get past the ATS, you're back in the human world, and all of those things that you learned back in college or whenever you learned to write your resume is back in full force. And that's something that really, <laughs> you have to have a human readable resume at the end of the day hmm. that okay. can get past the ATS system. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's, that's fantastic. Now, so just to give us an idea, uh, you said that about 2% get through. No, no. Yeah. People that are, are using the ATS Slayer system, what kind of numbers can they expect? You know what? We're, we're seeing good numbers. We're seeing about one in three resumes now. Oh, right? okay. Um, one in three resumes are getting a callback. And the, the, and the key to this is there's some serious keys. And if for people don't want ATS, you know, if they don't want to buy ATS Slayer, it's a, it's a subscription-based product, and it helps them build resumes really fast. So instead okay. of spending a couple of hours building a resume for a company, it'll take you about 10 minutes. So it really helps things, and it does a lot for you. But the thing is, is that what what they the number one thing they got to remember, and this is something that I share with everybody because it's so important, and I'll share it with you as as well. You have to, if your job description says director of marketing, okay. your resume has to be has to say seeking director of marketing. If those two things don't match, that's the first thing they check in the ATS system. If the title of the job description doesn't meet your resume seeking job area, you're off right there. You're totally off because as far as the ATS system is concerned, it's looking for a director of marketing. Okay. You might have CXO level marketing person. That doesn't match the title. Boom, you're gone. Wow. Wow, that is something. 
and now I, I know you guys are. I, I, I have this all happen to me all the time. Right now, I can almost guarantee. I know you're showing my ugly mug on the screen, but I guarantee if I showed Brian, his mouth would be a gape right now. It is a gape. <laughs> it is well. Huh? And first, it's a gape because you nailed it when you said ugly mug. Not for oh, you, well, but for me. You. Yeah, no. You know, <laughs> I go talk about a little bit of truth in advertising. <laughs> Well, thank you, Michael. Before I started ATS Slayer, I was like 23 years old and thin, and I had a lot of hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Michael, let me just ask you again while Lee's uh, busy scribbling away. Because I don't th- for most people that don't even realize what it is that they're up against, can you just repeat the last 30 seconds that it has to match perfectly, or the algorithm or whatever it is that the, the ATF is, is using, it just kicks you out you don't even get a chance to have your nice penmanship and how it looks up yeah. top and all the rest of this can you go over that one more time none of the none of the other stuff matters so right. the first thing that i tell everybody is that if if you're just if you got a job description that says director of marketing you want to make sure your resume in the seeking line says director of marketing okay they better match because as far as the algorithm or the ats system is concerned if it's if it's Paul, hey, you're looking for a director of marketing, and I come in as a CMO, a chief marketing officer. Well, that doesn't match director of marketing, right? So no, I don't want you. Okay, so you're gone. And, and Michael, so is it because there's so many people that it would just be people. impossible for a job for an employer to look at all the resumes? So they're kind of they're just looking for some help, I would think. Well, Brian, you're, you're, you hit the. Everybody knows about Procter and Gamble, correct? Everybody knows who Procter and Gamble is. You, Brian, you know who Bro- yes, Procter sir. and Gamble is, right? Yes, sir. They have about a thousand positions a year that they make available. Okay. Okay. They have, on average, two hundred and fifty respondents per job. Good That's God. Two hundred fifty thousand resumes. How are you going to filter through that? How big is your yeah. HR department? Oh, you'd have to have hundred people working around the clock. Hundred. Yeah. And, and by the way, you know, and I, I think everybody knows this, once it gets to the human person, once that human sits down and looks at the resume and is, is looking at Brian and going, man, Brian got through the ATS system, I wonder if, oh, boy, I hate his, I hate, I hate his font that he used on this. Sure. Thing. They spend less than six seconds per resume. So if your resume isn't ready to go, once it gets to that person... You're back in the you're back in the trash again because remember only one person's going to get the job. All right, so Michael, can I ask a question? As a total neophyte to this, and you, you're at, I, yep. I'm, I'm stunned that you knew my mouth was agape. So you have to like, it's almost like building, and I'm assuming it's almost like building a website where it's got to look real pretty, but it's also got to have the right SEO and everything else. Because if the if you make it through the ATF, but then you've written your resume on the back of a cocktail napkin, <laughs> right? It's going to get round yeah. filed. If, if I mean, if it well, gets looked at at all. Oh, and, 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 and here's the and Brian, just to make it just a little bit more uh, sadistic in the way it pro- approaches it to this. I like that, Michael. Thanks for calling <laughs> in, brother. <laughs> um, you never, you never, uh, very rarely do you get any feedback from the company you appro- apply to. Sure. So you have no idea what. It was right. that discounted you from that position. But here's the thing. So let's say you do the title perfectly, Brian. Everything's going great. You did everything awesome. Here's the, here's, the, here's the fun part. You get in there, and if your keywords from the job description don't hit about 80%, right? If, okay. if, if there's, let's say there's 15 keywords. Uh, let's say to make it easier for math at 9 o'clock at night. Sure. Let's say there's 10 keywords. If you don't get eight of those keywords in that resume, you're gone. Right? Unbelievable. No matter what else you added to it, you might sure. be the best person in the world, right. but you're not going to get past that. Best cover gone. letter, best design, best everything, you're not going to make it past it. You're not going to make it if you don't have those key terms. And so one of the things that ATS, it's a main, you know, everything that we do that we automate, we can do as a manual process, as everybody knows. The artificial intelligence in ATS Slayer basically goes out and reads your resume and then tries to filter up the most, the, the key, the most important key words to match. Oh. But here's another thing, and I've helped a person. We got this person that they were looking for a job for about seven months. 
uh, they, we were talking, and they didn't actually end up using ATS Flare per se, okay. but they used some of the logic from ATS, because I was just talking to them like I'm talking to you right now, Sure. and this person was in HR. Let me just stress that. They were in the human resources area, Okay. and all of a sudden, they were telling me about how they wasn't getting any callbacks, any callbacks, and I said, just by chance, how long is your resume? And she goes, oh, it's three pages long. I said... It has to be under 750 words. After 750 words, the ATS system drops it off. So Get out of here. At 751, Brian, here, check this out. At 751, let's say you have a bachelor's of communication. Sure. Right? From, from wherever. Right. Well, at 751, it drops it off. So when, there, when the ATS system is looking for that person with a bachelor's in communication... Well, yours was after 750 words. It's, it's not there. So guess what? You don't match the criteria. You're gone. Unbelievable. So, and think about it. If you have a bastard in communication, you think you should write war and peace, right? You probably yeah, think the more the, the more the merrier, uh, I would imagine. That's, but these systems, these systems cut it off. So a lot of people put their skills at the end of the resume, and they put their education <sighs> at the end of the resume. And if it comes after 750 words, it gets dropped off, and then you don't meet the criteria, and boom, you're in the round file. Wow, Lee. Okay, so you're nodding. You get this is all brand new to me, so I'm just like stunned that you can put all that effort into it, and hey, you get don't nothing. even get, and get nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, um, hey, can you tell me real quick? Uh, uh, can you relay the story of the of the test you did that kind of led you up to developing ATS Slayer? You were talking about how you put through nine nine hundred resumes. Okay, Brian and Lee, this is this is my favorite, right? Okay. So one of the one of the tests we wanted to do was we wanted to see how strict everything is. Mm -hmm. So what we did was we took a professionally written resume, okay, and I can talk more about that. But it was we, we, let's just say I spent a lot of money. We used my resume as the as the example resume. Okay. I made a pack with the team to say we were going to put in thirty resumes a day. For 30 days, seven days straight, seven days a week, 30 days. Mm -hmm. how, Brian, how many callbacks did I get from those 900 resumes that I sent out to the community? And let me just tell you, we changed job titles. We tried to make, we tried to massage the data to make it look like it was uh, hooked up correctly and all sure. that kind of stuff. So we did the extra work per resume. And some of these resumes can take up to 45 minutes to an hour going through the company system to put all the information in. You have to do this repeatedly for every company that you sign into. So we did 30 a day. How many callbacks did we get? Uh, uh, a fr <laughs> I would say a fraction, but a fraction is probably even too big a number. A, 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 a minimal percentage. No, get out of here. Zero. Zero. Zilch. Nada. None. We didn't even get somebody going, hey, I hate you. Kind of thing. You know, I was hoping for, you know, we were looking for any feedback. Yeah, well, Michael, I give a Don't. class on that. Stick around. I'll give you my uh, web address later. Uh, how to get people to say, I hate you, dot com. We don't talk about okay, it much. Well. Lee's busy writing the tagline for me. But... <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Unbelievable. Know, Michael, zero. Zero. It, it, zero. Unbelievable. And, and the thing is, is that, and then what we did afterwards is we took those job descriptions, right? Okay. That we applied to. We kept them. Sure. And then we went and ran them through the ATS player system against my resume. Now, let me just say, my resume was 1,400 words long. So at 750, it cut it off, right? So everything, so my bachelor's was gone, and all my skills were gone, and all my languages were gone, and all that kind of stuff. All that stuff was gone off there. And I only matched, on average, about 20% of the job description with my professionally written job, uh, with my resume, professionally written resume. Sure. So... All of a sudden, it was like, oh, my gosh, not only did we not, we did not actually hit what we were supposed to be doing, we didn't realize that we wasn't. And when we got zero back, I actually thought, my first thought was, oh, my gosh, I have, because I write a lot. Sure. And maybe something in my writing, I offended, and I got, I got put on a blacklist somehow. But then once I, once I we did a deep dive into all the things going on with getting a job today. Unless you know somebody, right? Sure. The old, the old network, the old network sure. uh, dang works was awesome, right? Sure. You can get past a lot of these systems. But for the people who are going through the normal process, let's talk about the people like it, uh, a, a local insurance company that is going to be having a reduction in force. All right. Those people probably haven't looked for a job in a couple of years. 
they have no idea what they're up against. What they're up against. What they've got to do to get a job. You know, that's what one of the things I love about your logo, you know, the ATS Slayer reminds me of like David and Goliath or, you know, like something like from the Vikings. But it now makes perfect sense to me because you, you are up against a huge force. Especially if you think your it, resume is going to be 1,400 words and, you know, you wrote an Emmy Award-winning piece and you get bumped at 7.01, um, you just got to be well, – you it, just have to be blown it, it, away by that. The person who wrote my resume locally in Columbus, is, mm-hmm. she's well-known mm-hmm. and she's awesome. And what she does to turn a phrase is awesome. And a lot of people have asked me, hey, Mike, aren't you in competition with her now? It's like, absolutely not. Sure. All I'm trying to do, she can turn a phrase. She can say, hey, you have this skill, this skill, this skill. And she can put that into an elegant sentence that really brings impact to the resume. So what she sure. does is awesome. And what plus, plus also, Michael, when the human eyes get a chance to look at it, you want it. You want her artistic yeah. touch to it as well, I was imagine. All right, I'm getting yeah. the, uh, the signal from Lee. Lee, what do you got for me? Hey, hey. Uh, so I got a couple of options for you, and uh, rather than do the board reveal, we got to find out some other better way to do that. I think I may get a smaller board for that. Okay. Um, so I got two <laughs> options for you, and I just I can't pick between the two, so I'm I'm just going to throw both of them out there. These are the headline ideas uh, for your front page. The first thing that they see when they come to the site. Okay. Um, uh-huh. So the first one that I say, come up with is 98% of resumes never reach a human being. Will yours? Get ATS like Slayer and 15 extra visibility today. I'm not quite as sure on that part. I'm still playing with that. But I, I, I like yeah. the, the will yours. I mean, the direct question. Yes. Um, the other thing is, the other one I came up with is very Russell Brunson inspired. Uh, Russell's a client of mine, and I've done quite a bit of work for him. So this is something that, that you know is more in his vein. Uh, after 30 days, 900 resumes, and zero callbacks, we discovered why most job seekers aren't landing jobs. Read on to find for, out for yourself. And that would be more, almost a, more of an advertorial style. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the, the, it, the length of the sentence is long, so as, as, as you have said many times, Lee, I believe, uh, you know, cut the, cut the uh, thing, get to the thing. I think it, we probably have to go a couple of times through the second one Yeah. to get it down. Sure, sure, it down yeah. There, but it's there. It's there. There's a, the, the, the process, the idea, the concept is there. And can I throw Absolutely. in one thing, guys, just like as a flannel? Because I'm like the not the smartest guy in the room as I listen to you two talk. I have to tell you, Michael, w- what I find about the beauty of your service is that for all the people think it's just me, mm-hmm. my resume wasn't good enough, I sent out 900. I mean, w- 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 Thomas Edison, a thousand attempts at uh, making the light bulb. But if you send out 900 resumes, you get zero back. You're looking for a hemlock online. Mm. Do you know what I mean, brother? You're, you're going, I'm just no good. I'm too old. I'm not smart enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not this enough. I'm not that enough. So what I love about listening to you two talk is you're giving permission. It's almost likely like it's the computer algorithm. It's not you. Right. Or, or chances are good. Mm-hmm. It's a computer algorithm. It's not you. And that's what I love about what Michael's doing yeah. is that it gives people their sense of self back. And, and and maybe they're not as defeated as they think they are. That's right. That's, well, that's absolutely right. And, hey, I got a bonus for you. If we can do this, like, in sure. 30 seconds. Sure. Uh, I know you didn't ask me for this, and you can tell me to stick it, but um, uh, putting the job – what is the, the tagline up there? Putting the job back – or putting the hunt back in the job hunt? Oh, I love that, by the um, way. Well, well, here's what I, – I like the concept. What I don't <laughs> like is that uh, putting the hunt in implies more work. So I would actually love to see it say, taking the hunt out of the job hunt. Ooh. All right, hold on. Hold, you know, you're not going to do the reveal. Then you do the reveal when well, I look the way. Hold it down a little bit, would you? All right. <laughs> I like that. Okay, no, don't, don't, let me see it one more time, All right. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Taking, taking the, the hunt out, out of the job, the job hunt. hunt. See, so I think we need to, you know, that would make it sound like, it, it, that would highlight its simplicity, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, I, by the way, I like it. Okay. And Brian, just, just, Brian, i got to give you one more stat sure. before the reveal. And th- this one's going to blow your mind as well, okay? There's one more thing i got to tell you, because if I don't tell you, you're going to go, th- people listening are going to go out of here not understanding something. Sure. When you go to look for a job, when you go to look for a job, right, and let's say you're making $50,000 a year, it's 
it's going to take you approximately five months to find a replacement job at $50,000 a year. It takes one month per 10000 on industry oh average. God. If you're making $100,000, we're talking 10 months. If you're making $150,000, we're talking 15 months of not being able to replace that job, that, that, that income that you have. it On average, industry average is for every 10000 it takes one point. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, God love your brother for everything you're doing to help people with that kind of curve. And, that, and, and guys, and I really, I hope we can have Michael back sometime because yes. I could learn from him all over again. Mm -hmm. But we've got a couple minutes, so I'd like to, Lee, if it's cool with yep. you, a thought, and then I'm just going to have Michael give us an idea how people can get a hold of him, and then have you give us an idea again how people can get a hold of you, and that way we won't run out of time. So, Lee, what are you thinking? Absolutely. So, you know, I love, absolutely love what you're doing, and uh, we can work on this uh, more outside of there. Uh, I, I appreciate you recognize that you know, you, it's not always uh, possible to come up with a, a solid final tagline or, or headline in this short of span of time. So I'm happy to work with you on that outside. And I, I love to hear, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing how people can uh, get in touch with you and find out more about ATS Slayer. Yeah, so Michael, so give us an idea. How can people, uh, how can folks get a hold of you? Where, where can they find out more about you? ATSLayer.com okay. okay. is going to be the is going to be the home site, and uh, everything's great there. Uh, we we show you demos, we show you how it works. We we've got things on there that help you through that. The next thing is is on January fifteenth at Dublin Rec Center, ten o'clock to uh, twelve o'clock. Okay. I'm going to be doing a uh, seminar on great. Uh, job hunting in 2019 and spending about an hour showing people how to use the ATS Slayer product. Cool. on their machines, helping them do the first resume. Because once you do the resume for the one time, we can actually do 80% or 90% of the resume in about a second and a half on, on subsequent ones. Wow. So we really bring down the amount of time that you spend. But if you want to go, if you're interested in that class, just go to ATS Slayer slash Reg, R-E-G, okay. and you can register for it. And uh, you get one free month of ATS Slayer, and you get personal instruction from me. Fantastic. Which, which, God, what, what, what more could you ask for uh, at the beginning of the new year? <laughs> Absolutely kicking off your new year. Well, Michael, maybe you, uh, Lee and I will come see you. What, what, is that far awesome. from here, Lee? I don't know where I am. Is where Michael's going to be on the 15th? Is that far from here? Uh, it's like 20 minutes. Ah, well, stop. Yeah, you tell we're from Ohio. We, 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 we judge distances by minutes. <laughs> All right, Michael, yeah. if, if you would, Lee, give me an idea how can folks get a hold of you. And if you would, Michael, before I let you go, can you post in the thread, if you're on Facebook, any other information that you want people to have about how they can get a hold of you? And Brother Lee, what do you got going for me? All right, well, you know, I finally got off my lazy can and set up a, a page for, for my coaching. Uh, so that's at LeeRoley.com slash CCC, and that stands for Collaborative Copy Coaching. And that's a lot like what you're seeing right now. It's, it's uh, you know, us getting together, creating copy in your own voice, creating a copy that speaks to your people. So I, I, people are loving it. I never would have thought that people would want to write their own copy. You know, most people are like, oh, yeah, that's what I've got copywriters for. But when they see the results, they're just like, I'm so glad I did it. So LeeRoley.com slash CCC. Got three spots open for January, so go Ooh. nab one. Very cool. All right, it's time for us to get out of here. So I'm going to play this really cool outro, and then we'll see you right now. Let me ask you, are we going to be back next week? I know it's some, where's New Year's fall into this whole thing. Are we back next Thursday, brother? Oh, or what yeah. are we doing? We are. Okay. I'm, I'm down. <laughs> well, you are sitting. All right, everybody, have an absolutely <laughs> fantastic weekend and ramp up to, <laughs> to your New Year's wherever you're listening. Have a great evening. Careful, careful. You know what they say about this on the internet. Is, is a, <laughs> you is never this, want tape. Is this a G-rated? No, this is not. It is. We, we blew past that a long time ago. Yeah, didn't that's we? true. But yeah. you know, Michael's on. There's he could have you. Maybe he's. Oh please, <laughs> he's he's just pretending to behave himself. Oh, he could could very well be. I liked yeah. him though. That was pretty cool. He All right, was really cool, man. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> See you soon. Have a good one, guys. Yeah, Thanks, Michael. Good. Thanks, guys, for the opportunity. Not Thank at all. You. Pleasure learning from you. Thanks, bud. Bye. Wrapped. Right on.